era defining fight. Monkey. Certainly will enhance the legacy of two of the best fighters walking on planet Earth right now. As well as history being made. First time in this four belt era, we will have an undisputed welterweight champion of the world. And we can dub him without question as the pound for pound king of boxing. Talk to me, no tell your nigga to talk. Talk to me, tell your nigga to talk. Talk to me, tell your nigga to talk. Alright, now you talk to me. Tell your nigga back to what we were talking about. What yeah, try that body yeah, shot, man. I'm, I'm ready. He ready. We're gonna have a fish fry come Saturday. Bring your season for Saturday night, cause we're gonna have a crawfish boil, we're gonna boil his ass. Errol Spence Jr., with an aura of invincibility, has dominated opponents with an unrivaled skill set, leaving a trail of victories in his wake. But as we've learned, even champions are not immune to the unforeseen twists that fate can bring. In this captivating tale, we peel the layers of Errol Spence's extraordinary journey. You know, a little off night, um, the better man won tonight, not here to make any excuses. I mean, definitely did the same. Um, just, you know, my time was off and uh, I couldn't capitalize on a couple of things. And, um, you know, his time was a lot better than mine tonight. From the triumphs that catapulted him to stardom to the unforeseen challenge that threatened to derail his illustrious career. The downfall of a champion is an unforgettable story of courage, redemption, and the indomitable spirit that defines a true fighter. I never had uh, a fight where um, people thought I lost. I never had a, a, a fight where I didn't look spectacular. In. Terrence Crawford was on fire, landing an impressive 185 out of 369 shots with remarkable 50.1 accuracy, and his power shots were even deadlier, connecting with 98 out of 163 boasting an impressive 60.1% success rate. On the other hand, Errol Spence had a tough time only managing to land 96 out of 480 punches, with his jabs being even less effective at just 11.1% accuracy. Crawford's journey to this victory is truly inspiring. He calls himself an overachiever, and it's evident that he had to overcome a lot of doubters on his way to becoming a world champion. But he never gave up, and he's grateful to Spence and his team for providing him with this opportunity to showcase his skills. Becoming the first male fighter in boxing's four belt era to be an undisputed champion in multiple divisions means everything to Crawford. He took the belts from top competitors, and even when people tried to undermine him, he proved them wrong. Crawford's belief in himself and his dedication to the sport paid off in a big way. Crawford and his team focused on neutralizing Spence's jab during training camp. The jab was Spence's weapon of choice, so by taking that away, Crawford turned the tide in his favor. Crawford's hard work, faith in himself, and strategic planning proved to be the keys to his historic victory, reminding us that with determination and skill, anything is possible in boxing. Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's showtime! Round one. The fight has started and both fighters are in southpaw stances around each other in the center of the ring. Spence uses his jab to set the distance and both fighters fent a lot to get a feel for each other. After about a minute and a half of this cautious approach, Spence lunges in with a strong right hand to the body, pushing Crawford backwards. He then follows up with a left to the body, showing how good an attacking player he is. The scoreboard says that Spence wins the first round with a score of 10-9, but Crawford is also close behind with a score of 10-9. Put Crawford, yes, like it's the Spence uh, jab that's doing the effect right now, or is having the effect. Crawford, the jab, the shot. The second round showcases the dynamic nature of the fight, with Spence's aggression and Crawford's counter-attacking skills creating an intense spectacle. Round two. Spence is moving his feet very well and putting pressure on Crawford to make him move back. Crawford tries to respond, but he misses a few shots. 
Spence throws some heavy blows, but Crawford can stop them. But Spence makes a big mistake and misses badly with a right to the body, leaving himself open to danger. Crawford sees his chance and hits Spence with a strong counter that knocks him out. Spence gets knocked down and he's in trouble. Was able to land that straight left. Spence gets back on his feet, but his position is still dangerous. Crawford moves in to take advantage of Spence being knocked down, but the bell rings, which could save Spence from more damage. What an exciting part of the game. The scoreboard shows Spence is behind in round 8 through 10, and Crawford is ahead in the total fight by 18 to 19. Both fighters are giving it their all, and this knockdown has made the match even more exciting. Spence's determination is palpable as the third round unfolds, but Crawford's counter-punching prowess poses significant challenges. Round 3 Spence is determined as he moves into the third round. He wants to prove a point and starts out strong with an overhand left that hits early on Crawford. Then, Spence forces Crawford into a corner and starts throwing punches, but Crawford can stop most of them. Still, Spence doesn't give up and keeps working on the body. The two fighters trade combinations in an exciting battle in the middle of the ring, but Spence is starting to follow a dangerous trend. He seems to get in trouble when he overextends with his punches, like when he got knocked down in an earlier round. This plays to Crawford's strengths as a skilled counterpuncher and gives him an even better chance to take advantage of Spence's mistakes. Midway point of the third by Spence. Quick combination. And getting used to fighting against the lefty. For Beautiful combination there by Crawl. And again, that. The scoring shows Spence is losing in rounds 9 and 10 and Crawford is winning the fight by scoring 27 to 29. Crawford's dominance in the fourth round leaves Spence in a precarious position, raising questions about his ability to withstand Crawford's fierce assault. Round 4 Crawford just knocked Spence out with a strong right hand, and Spence is already bleeding from his nose. Crawford doesn't hold back and throws punches full force. People are going crazy because they think something big might be about to happen. The difference between the two fighters' hand speeds is painfully obvious. Spence seems to walk right into Crawford's punches and Crawford is landing shot after shot with surgical accuracy. The scoring shows Spence is losing in rounds 9 and 10 and Crawford is winning the fight overall by 36 to 39. And as the fight progresses, the physical toll on Spence becomes evident, raising concerns about his ability to continue against Crawford's relentless assault. Round 5 The tension builds as the ring doctor looks closely at Spence before the fifth round. Spence seems a little off balance as he walks back to his corner, which is scary. But the doctor gives him the okay to keep going and Spence doesn't waste any time returning to his powerful body shots. But Crawford is showing that he is a tough opponent. He hits Spence from all directions and keeps getting him. Spence is fighting hard and trying to hit Crawford in the body. But even a good overhand punch from Spence doesn't bother Crawford. Crawford is a relentless and brutal finisher and the way things are going, it looks like the end might be near for Spence. The tally shows that Spence is losing rounds 9 and 10 and Crawford is winning the fight overall by a score of 45 to 49. The sixth round showcases Crawford's exceptional tactical acumen and Spence's resilience in the face of adversity, setting the stage for the intense final rounds of the match. Round 6 Spence is fighting with a lot of willpower and incredible drive, but you can see he's struggling. He's trying to be bold and put pressure on Crawford. He's even landed some good looking body shots, but they need more force. On the other hand, Crawford is one step ahead, almost like he can guess Spence's moves before they happen. For him, the fight is going on in slow motion. Spence is trying to work from the inside. But Crawford is very accurate and his jab is punishing. 
The scoring shows Spence is losing in rounds 9 and 10, and Crawford is winning the fight overall by 54 to 59. This is where Spence was working downstairs, trying to get something offensive happen to Anderson in that last round, initiating the offense with that shotgun jab, and Morrow made the pill counter as Spence moves. As the fight enters the later rounds, the tension and concern for the fighters' well-being intensify, leading to crucial decisions for their corners and the referee. Round 7. Crawford is showing off his skill by hitting Spence again and again. Then, about a minute into the round, he hits Spence with a strong combination that knocks him down for the second time. Spence is tough though, so he gets back up and almost makes it to the bell before a crushing right hook from Crawford knocks him down again. Crawford is fighting well, but more people think this fight should end. The record shows that Crawford was in charge and Spence was behind from rounds 7 to 10. Watching how the fight is going is both interesting and scary. I'm interested in what Spence's team and the judge decide. At this point, the fighters' safety and well-being must be the top concern. Boxing can be brutal, so it's important to consider what will happen when a fighter takes a lot of damage. At this critical moment, the excitement of the game is mixed with the stress. Let's wait and see what happens. The seventh. A big shot! Down goes Spence for the third time in the fight at the end of the seventh! The eighth round showcased Crawford's dominance and raised questions about Spence's ability to recover in the later stages of the fight. Round 8. Spence is getting hit a lot out there. He's throwing punches, but you can see that they don't have any power. Crawford fights completely under his control. At this point, Spence's trainer, Derek James, might need to step in and make a tough decision that his boxer might not be brave enough to make. The scoring shows that Crawford won the fight, and in round 9 and 10, Spence was behind. Whether Spence has a chance to turn things around or Crawford wins the fight, it's always interesting to watch how these fights unfold in the ring. Crawford's dominant display in the ninth round marked a turning point in the fight, leading to a crucial decision by the referee. Round 9 Round 9 was a total nail-biter. Spence could keep going for the first two minutes, but then Crawford started throwing punches non-stop. Spence was suffering, and he had no legs left to stand on. At that point, referee Harvey Dock put a good stop to the fight to be kind to Spence. Crawford gave a fantastic performance, again showing that he was one of the best boxers of his time. The undisputed and best pop for pop fighter and become undisputed champion in two divisions. Errol Spence Jr.'s downfall can be attributed to a combination of unfortunate events that affected his boxing career. After unifying the welterweight titles and before Crawford's defense in December 2019, Spence was involved in a near-fatal car accident, which surely had a significant impact on his physical and mental well-being. Recovering from such a serious accident could have taken a toll on his training and conditioning possibly affecting his performance in the ring. Additionally, an eye injury, specifically a retinal tear in his left eye, has been another major setback for Spence. Eye injuries can be particularly concerning for boxers, as they can have long-term consequences on their ability to compete at the highest level. These two incidents combined might have contributed to the challenges Spence faced in maintaining his status as a top-level boxer. At the same time, we must respect Spence's impressive career and the fact that even the best fighters have lost. As he rebuilds his career, Spence must now show that he is strong and determined. How he deals with this setback will define his legacy, and it's fascinating to see how he'll take on the task and rise again in the world of boxing. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the subscribe buttons. Take care until next time.